Okay, now uh, let's get a little fancier. And this is uh, the last table of contents was nothing all that special. To make a fancier one, what to, this is where we want to go to a chart. That's the thing I really struggle with. And uh, hyperlink just doesn't do it because there's no way to put a range name as part of a chart. Now hopefully we'll get rid of this shift control Z, but maybe not. Okay, now what you can do here is something I just experimented with, and I want to see if it will really work. So what we'll do is we'll make another uh, uh, little thing. That instead of go back, let's make a sub called go to sheet. Okay. Of course, I need that thing. Okay. And in the sub go to sheet, let's put uh, uh, let's put main uh, sheet equals um, uh, selection dot cell and then let's just see if it really works. Let's put message box name of sheets. Okay. And then we'll put sheets uh, name of sheet dot select. Okay. And this time I think this is where we really need to uh, put our little go back. And in fact, then when we do go back, uh, at some point we want to put application that status bar. Uh, I know that that, that will do it. That's my status. this shift control Z we'll uh, go to sheet and then we'll just run the contents and what that will do it will um, or in fact excuse me when we do go back we'll put this in and we'll take it away okay so that's um, still not Perfect, but uh, let's just try this. So if we we uh, just go to the macro, go to the developer, and go to our thing, and say go to sheet, and run it, it, it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I thought I did it right. Selection, name sheet. No, I just did this before. Selection cells. Oh, we weren't on a sheet name. You know, how do I do this? Okay, so now let's uh, go to the sheet. And now it's just chart one, and it goes to the sheet, and you press shift control Z, and it goes back and takes the, the little application dot status bar off. Is that cool, or is that cool? Okay, I think it is. You might not think it is. But I've been struggling with this for years. I have never came up with a way to do it. Now, of course, we'll take this away, and we'll put an on air. Forgot how's it go around this whole thing? Well, 
how about uh, on error we'll, we'll just I mean, exit one okay exit so exit one and I'll go to and let's go back okay so let's just make sure that works so if we put it on a blank cell like this it would uh, uh, just go back but if we put it on sheet three it will uh, go to the sheet Oops. and go to exit one Okay. Okay. Shift controls. Right. Now the last thing we have to do is figure out a way to make this macro implement each time. And what we can do, you could press, if you press enter, you could make something just work with the enter key. Now I think that would be very dangerous because we'd have to figure out to how to switch it off and only switch it on. I'm going to make it shift enter. So here's what we'll do. We'll uh, just make another macro or, or shift escape. So how about, uh, it, why don't we put ring cells, uh, how about three comma two, no, uh, two comma four, equals press shift and enter to go to sheet okay and and then what we need to do up here is do the same kind of thing where we put application and we put a plus and the enter is this one I just learned that by going to the bin Google, whatever, and uh, instead of just uh, uh, going back, this time we go go to sheet, and did we put an underscore there? I think I did. Go to sheet. So, let's run our table of contents. Okay, and now if we go on this one and we press shift enter, it goes to the sheet, shift control Z, comes back, and we have uh, solved this shift. I have to do it again. Shift enter, shift control Z, and uh, I don't know what to say. I don't. I hope you think this is kind of cool, and it's not even a very long video. Okay.